And now we get to draw the roof that's over this little garage building. Now, let's have a look at our south elevation. Okay, let's pan over here a little bit. So there's that wall right there. And we need to put our roof on there. And that wall is, you know, a certain distance away using our dimension tool. We can dimension, we can see that's, you know, 400 millimeters, which is about 16 inches below that top of second floor. So I'm going to just go up to my top of second floor anyway. Okay, and I'm going to see that I've got an underlay here of top of main. So that way you can see these walls, okay, top of main. So let's draw a roof. Let's go up to the architecture. No, this is going to be like a truss roof. So roof, and we're not going to use concrete roof. We're going to use a warm roof timber. What does that look like? Mm, not sure if that's what we want. Let's hit edit type. And no, that's not quite what we want. We want a cold roof concrete, nah, none of these. So let's just go like this. Let's go generic 125. Now, when you draw a truss roof, you only account for the top cord of it. You don't do the whole webbing or anything. It's just kind of the top part of the roof, the shingles, the, the plywood, and the top cord of the truss. So we're going to duplicate this and we'll just call this, you know, wood truss. Or it could be a steel truss. Okay, in fact, it probably would be steel at this size, but uh, well, you could get a, a big com uh, composite wood truss roof. And done. And we're going to hit edit type. And now we're going to go in here and I'm going to say, well, the, the main, the top cord is going to be 125. That's five inches. Let's just go 150. So six inch top cord. Okay, now I'm going to go in here. I'm going to hit insert, add a layer. Okay, insert, add another layer. This layer is going to be, you know, 15 millimeters of shingles, and this is going to be 20 millimeters, three quarters of an inch plywood. Okay, and I can go in here and pick material. So you can go in here and pick your asphalt material. Notice that your materials come up quicker this time. And ASPH, let's see if it's got asphalt shingles. Asphalt uh, roofing felt, let's go shingle. Shinga. See what it gives us. Metal stainless steel polish. Okay, we don't have a shingle roof. Let's do we have a shake roof? Let's just type roof. Asphalt bitumen, damp proofing, default roof, roofing felt, roofing tile. Well, let's do this. Let's create a new material. Let's go to default roof and let's right click and let's just say duplicate that default roof. And then it's going to say default roof one, and we're just going to go in here and say asphalt shingles. There we go. Hit enter. Not going to worry about the color of the material for now. So um, asphalt, a asphalt shingles. Where did it go? I don't see it. Let's try this again. Duplicate. Enter. The name is just already in use. Hmm. Okay. Uh, oh, I see, because it's filtering for the word roof. Let's go ASPH. There we go. Asphalt shingles. There it is. I made the material, but then my filter was filtering for the word roof, and there's no... Uh, I would probably rename this and put the word roof in here. And then now if I go back to here and type in roof in my material filter, I'll see asphalt roof shingles. Good. Finally. Okay. So I have asphalt roof shingles uh, and this is plywood. So let's go in here and let's just type in the word ply. Uh, sheathing plywood. Good. Hit OK. So plywood and roof structure, we're just going to call, let's put in the word wood here. And again, materials we don't have to do now. I'm doing it now, but we could say structure timber, joist, rafter layer. Sure. Looks good. Hit OK. So there's my roof. Um, and hit OK. And hit OK. Now, I'm going to use the pick walls tool. I'm going to put in an overhang of 600 millimeters, which is about two feet. 
pick walls and watch what I'm going to do. Click, click, click. Now I'm going to change the offset to be zero because this one's right up against this wall. Now I'm going to use my trim tool and say trim these guys. Okay, escape, escape. Now these two guys are gables. So I'm going to click on here and say no slope for you. These two guys, using my control button, are sloped, which is good. And the slope is 30 degrees. Now I want it to be rise and run over 12. I can't do that right now from here, but I'll leave it at 30 degrees for the heck of it. And where is the overhang? Good plate offset off of the level two, zero, sure, right on level two. Hit OK and click out. Now, it looks like it's being chopped off. That's because of my view range. If you go to your 3D view, we'll see our little roof down inside of there. OK, let's go to a right side square on. Let's zoom in. Now, we need to drop that roof down a little bit. I'm going to click on here, okay? Now what I can do is use my arrow key and I'm just going to nudge it. Notice as I'm nudging it, it's going to change these numbers base offset. So I want it to be, you know, just above this wall. So I'm going to say, you know, because there, there's going to be a heel height in there too. So somewhere, you know, around there. So minus 320 off of level two. So I use my arrow key to nudge that down. Shift middle mouse, okay? Move that over. Now, I wanted to specify the slope in a rise over 12. So let's fix that. Let's go to Manage. Let's go to Project Units. And slope is set to be degrees. I'm going to say, no, I want my slope to be rise over 12. Okay. Hit OK. Hit OK. Now, because they're both the same slope, I can actually click on here. I don't have to say Edit Footprint. Okay, And then go in and pick them both in here and, and change the slope, which I could. Notice it's some odd number over 12, the equivalent of 30 degrees. I'm going to hit exit on here. Because they're both the same, I can actually pick on the roof and just go straight to here and say, you are, you know, a 412 pitch. And all I have to, I don't even have to type 12. I just swipe in there. Kind of tricky with the mouse. Backspace. And then just type in a 4 and hit enter, and it'll make it 412. Good. Oh, I can go a little higher. Let's go 5, enter. Okay, let's go six. The more slope, the better. Let's say I want to keep it under that point so I don't get any drifting up on there. Good. Okay, now all I need to do is take this wall and say attach to here. So boom. Okay, so there's my main building with my side building roof. And I don't know what we'll do next. Maybe we will add in... Uh, some partitions and get ready to put our stairwell in. But first, we have to do our save. Save as project standard protocol. Lesson 12 coming up.